Kanye West's relentless antics against his ex have gone beyond drama. He's terrorizing the woman who's raising his children. I'm not gonna stop using my voice. Serial harassing his now ex-wife. But she wasn't the first. Before Julia, before Kim, there was Amber. Amber Rose is worse than Kim Kardashian. They were the biggest couple in the world. I genuinely cared for him. But after their breakup, everything changed. People told me to not date this woman because she was Amber just seems dirty. I'd take 30 showers before I got with Kim, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we dug deeper and found that there's a pattern he keeps repeating. You take them around the world, you buy them all the jewelry. Fashion and etiquette boot camp in order to be seen in public with him. You shout out to the world how much you love them. And sending her a truckload of roses. But once you walk away, you're not going to be nothing without me. He called me a prostitute. So nobody really knows my side of the story. Do your parents know you a slut? No one knows what I've been through. I've been offered book deals to talk about him. He has bullied me for 10 years. I didn't realize that I was being abused because I got away. This is the real life story behind the tabloids. How did you meet Kanye West? He actually called me to do his RoboCop video in LA. I was living in New York at the time. Since I was a kid, I would always tell my friends, I'm gonna live in Hollywood, I'm gonna be famous, and I'm not gonna fucking be here. Like, this is not gonna be my life. You were boyfriend and girlfriend practically from the gate. Just from the gate. When Amber met Kanye, she was working as a stripper, and he was one of the biggest rappers in the world. But he was also still grieving his mom's sudden death. He told Hot 97 that Amber was so disconnected from the concept of celebrity when he first met her. It probably even helped that she had the background that she did, especially being in the world that he was in with the fame that he had. Maybe he felt like he needed grounding. Amber said that when she and Kanye met, he invited her to the Grammys and he actually chose her outfit. I'd never had anyone go out and buy me a really expensive outfit. When I told him I was a dancer, he was like, I don't care if you're a prostitute, I just want to be with you. That's what made me love him. I thought, in my mind, I'm like, oh, he's like super generous. But then at the same time, I feel like he's very particular. So the media actually started calling her his muse, and he actually had her in uh, one of his Louis Vuitton sneaker ads. When these iconic Terry Richardson photos came out, GQ said that it captured Rose and West looking sexier and more in love than anyone has looked maybe ever. It seemed like when Kanye loved Amber, the media loved her too, but all of that was about to change. When Amber unexpectedly ended their relationship in 2010, the Oh, breakup, she ended the relationship? Yeah. Okay. So she kept her silence about the breakup, and Kanye went on to record My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, which was widely interpreted by the media to be about her and their relationship. We had front row seats to his side of the story as he exposed her supposed abandonment and failure as a partner. Amber had tried to break away from her relationship with Kanye, but she was having a spotlight shone directly on it, while My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy was becoming one of the most influential rap albums of all time. And the world was like, bitch, you're only famous because Kanye made you famous. To have that type of a lifestyle with a man and then not have it anymore, but still walk out my house and still have paparazzi outside, yeah. but with no money. I heard that like after I broke up, you got like a million, but you couldn't speak on his name no more. It's all right, well, alternative all right. facts. It's all fake news. It's not real. I've been offered book deals to talk about him, and I don't want money from stuff like that. That's not good. Not all money is good money. That's not, I don't live my life like that. That wouldn't make me happy. I respect that, because you could have made some easy money. The fact that Amber chose to walk away with nothing, even though she'd already experienced poverty and homelessness, honestly makes me wonder like how bad it had to be for her to put herself through that again. So why did they actually break up? We don't know for sure, but here's what Amber said about it. When Kanye was in Philly, he said, you know, I used to tell you, you didn't, you didn't look right in that outfit. Your hair wasn't pretty. When you're with a man that talks to you like that, it does affect your confidence. He may have thought, I made you. I made mm -hmm. you famous, but once you walk away, you're not gonna be nothing without me. Amber told Complex Magazine, I don't hate him. I want him to find a girl and for him to treat her better than he treated me. The next girl, she doesn't deserve that. Amber moved on with Wiz Khalifa and they had a baby and things seemed to quiet down for her until 2012 when Kanye and Kim announced their new relationship.
Amber dropped a bomb when she told Star Magazine that Kim was the reason she had broken up with Kanye. Oh. And Kanye and the media both turned on her. If Kim had like dated me when I first wanted to be with her, it wouldn't be an Amber Rose. You know what I'm saying? Like I had to, I'd take 30 showers before I got with Kim, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous because did he not say that he would love her if she was a prostitute? But instead of going after Kanye, Amber went after Kim. She retaliated in a tweet saying, I'll leave that up to the Kartrashians to humiliate you when they're done with you. And the backlash spiraled out of control. I'm getting bullied by one of the most famous people in the world. I have people throwing things at me in the street because they're fans of Kanye. Everyone is against me like I did something wrong. Yeah. When I literally just fell in love with a famous guy. I'm just crying because I don't deserve to be bullied like that. It yeah. just doesn't make any sense to me when someone genuinely appreciates someone at some point in time and then can turn on them because they're not getting what they want from them anymore. Well, like, where is the switch? Like, how? What, what happened to you? But there were people close to Amber that could see what she was going through. I don't think the route is to trash someone we know you were in love with. He went from stadium to stadium and he would do a rant about how much he loved Amber. But you are not gonna make us forget that you cried about that girl for a year straight. As Amber got some distance from the relationship, she started to get some perspective on it too. I didn't realize that I was being abused because I always felt like I was a strong woman after talking to the therapist. She told me it's equivalent to constantly getting beat up every day. And I felt like I was getting beat up, but I was embarrassed about it and I didn't know how to talk to anyone. Emotional abuse does not get the same weight that other kinds of abuse does, humiliation keeps you from speaking on it. You're not gonna control my every move. You're not gonna tell me what I need to wear. You're not gonna tell me where I need to go and who to be friends with. I don't have time for that shit. Kanye and the media were pitting them against each other, but if anyone could see what was coming next for Kim, it might have been Amber. Kanye is coming over today and he's giving me a full clothing makeover. Yeah, you gotta like ready, clean out everything. Our whole trade-off was that like, if I got rid of all my clothes, he would fill up my closet, but I'm freaking out. And even years later, Kanye was still shaping and controlling Kim's image until she'd had enough. You are my wife and it affects me when you were too sexy. You built me up to have, be this like sexy person and all this stuff. Yeah. And just because you're on a journey and you're on your transformation doesn't mean that I'm in the right, I'm in the same spot with you. And even though Amber had bullied Kim in the past, she actually addressed that herself. You don't blame the woman when your man does you wrong. I actually feel bad that I called her a homewrecker. I just like acted on my emotions yeah, when yeah, I no. said it. Everyone in a relationship, especially post a relationship, is emotional and upset. I think it was a really human experience for her to be upset and kind of like pointing the blame at someone. They're just having this on a larger scale because everyone is watching. So when Kim faced backlash for posting nude selfies celebrating her body, Amber actually stood up for her. I thought she looked beautiful. I think she's a great mom and I'm gonna pick up for Kim. People think that me and Kim are arch enemies and we're not. We literally text each other all the time. We're very positive towards each other. When Kim and Kanye separated, Amber's old Kartrashian's tweet went viral again, but this time she spoke out against it. Kim nor her sisters deserved that, and it was immature of her to involve the Kardashians in the mess Kanye made. They both have gone through the same experience. So I think that there is a level of empathy that might be there. Amber took what people criticized her for and she turned it into a superpower. She said, I never got an apology for his 30 showers comment, but I started my slut walk and helped millions of women around the world stand up for themselves. So something amazing came out of it. I decided to have my own slut walk for all equality issues, slut shaming, double standards, sexual assault victims, rape victims. I'm not gonna let those derogatory labels hurt me anymore. I'm just gonna embrace them. I told all the women, I will take all the punches for you guys. When you find yourself in a relationship where someone makes you feel very small, you feel like you'll be nothing without them. It just goes to show that there was always something within her that was special. No matter what circumstances a partner puts you in, you still have power inside of you. You can take back control.